Hey guys, welcome back, and it is time once again for yet another Prepper Gearbox video. Now this one is going to be really short because we only have two items. And the skill card is something that I cannot demonstrate. One of the items I can't really demonstrate, and the other one is self-explanatory. <laughs> so I don't have a whole lot to work with this month, even though both the items that we got are really cool. I'm going to start out with the Power Practical Lithium 4400 Battery and Lantern. That is this thing right here. Now you might recognize this uh, as a cell phone charger. And yeah, it'll charge up your smartphone. These things are really handy to have around, but I don't have a smartphone. <laughs> I refuse to buy one. Uh, but this one also has these LED lights on the side that give you about 100 lumens of illumination. So that's pretty cool. And you got this little slidey button here to work everything whenever you're charging something you pull it up whenever you want the lights pull it down now it says that these LED lights will run for 30 hours on a full charge now I, I haven't tested that out yet because I don't have 30 free hours to, <laughs> to try it out uh, but these things are really handy to have around I've got one that's about 10 percent less powerful than this one and I've used it before to charge up my camera the camera that I'm using right now while I was on a camping trip and the camera died. So I got no doubts that this thing will work just fine. And again, I can't use it for a smartphone because I don't have one, but it does work on my camera. If you're wondering what type of camera that is, it's a Sony action cam. Now the bad thing about this, just like most of them, this button is kind of exposed and easy to hit and you can turn on that light on accident while it's in your pack. So I thought of a solution for that. Just a good old-fashioned toilet paper roll. <laughs> you pop that down in there like so. You got a little bit of extra room on either side. If you're afraid that's going to slide out. Simple solution. Rubber band. There you go. Stick that back in here. Perfect. So, that will keep your cardboard <laughs> case there from sliding off of your battery charger. And that way you don't have to worry about hitting that button and your light turning on while it's inside your pack. Now, this is the box that it came in. Very nice unit. Very nice. So. There you go. The next item that we have is a pocket knife. This is the... There it is. The Schrade SCH001. Now Schrade advertises this as a tactically built utility knife. And I tend to agree. Here it is. Has a pocket clip, an index flipper, for opening. And you also have ambidextrous thumb studs there for opening as well. Alright, so I actually wrote down what the blade steel was because I found it online and it wasn't in Prepper Gearbox's literature, but it is 9CR 14MOV steel, which is kind of like a modified 440C steel. Now the handle on here it's made out of Zytel. Schrade uses that a lot. And it makes for a, a pretty good grip. It's got good jimping. And it's textured very well. So, it'd be a great little EDC knife. It's a little bit wider than my usual EDC. You can kind of compare there. But the weight is actually about the same. It's a very lightweight knife. So, it opens nicely, it locks up tight, what else can I really say? See if we can, there, okay. So it comes pretty sharp right out of the box, here we've got some cord. Yeah, that ain't bad, 
not for out of the box. And because that knife steel, there we go, that knife steel is uh, softer than what you would find on a lot of high-end knives, a lot of people aren't going to like it. But I'm just fine with that because that means it's easier to sharpen. <laughs> Especially sharpening by hand you want something that's a little bit softer so there you go a nice addition and as far as our skill card once again you have survival uses for your smartphone and this is all pretty self-explanatory different apps that you can use uh, the GPS and compass feature taking pictures of accidents for insurance purposes. And it talks about using the component parts in an emergency, using the screen as a signaling device, or breaking the screen to use as arrowheads or a cutting tool. Uh, it says you can use the headphone and charger cables as a cabling or a snares. Now, I imagine if you used your handy knife and took the insulation off of the wires, they'd work pretty good as snares. Uh, but if you leave the insulation on, it's going to grab and it's not going to make a very good snare. Then it has some different methods to start a fire using the battery, one of which involves exposing the lithium to oxygen. I wouldn't do that. It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> but I guess in an emergency, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. So anyways, that is what we got. Good value this month. I think they said that our charger $25 value and the knife I think it said it was a $15 value uh, let me check on that real quick after I've already thrown everything away here yep $15 retail price I say it's worth it so there you go all in all I'm happy with this box. Hey, if I had a smartphone, I'd actually be able to show a lot of this stuff actually in use. But since I don't, well, we go with what we got. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I know this month was a lot shorter than it normally is. <laughs> but a lot of people have requested shorter, more to-the-point videos. So there you go. Now I've got a bunch of stuff that i got to get to. So until next time, thumbs up.